Next, um, Lucy Salat. I think I know what you mean. It is organic coffee really bad for morning up. I think you mean, is it really bad first thing in the morning? I, uh, coffee, one coffee a day, if you are a coffee person, which I'm not, but if you are, one coffee a day is okay. But if you're first thing in the morning, you're getting out of bed and straight up and getting and drinking coffee, a strong coffee, you're not giving your body a chance to even start the day waking up. You're hitting your adrenal glands instantly with a stimulus that is quite powerful. So give your body a chance, have some hot water and lemon, get, let your digestive juices start flowing. Give yourself a chance to wake up and then, you know, mid-morning coffee might be kinder to your adrenal glands than hitting it with that straight away. I know that a lot of people drink coffee to give themselves that awake thing, but at least give yourself, you know, I don't know, half an hour. Give yourself a chance first thing in the morning. Um, you know, and also the other thing is actually you have to remember that every coffee and every tea that you drink in, well, in life or black tea is dehydrating and, you know, after a long night's sleep, you probably want to give yourself some hydration. Um, okay, so we've done Amateur Prayer. Oh, Deb P42. What's the best way to treat a virus? Thanks. Um, well, it depends which virus, quite frankly. Uh, viruses are notoriously difficult to treat in Western medicine and just in general, they're quite hardy things. They get in and they can get into your DNA. They can, get, you know, really, really infiltrate your body. So they can be quite hard to treat. The general thing, I think, would be to look at your immune system and um, your immune system to boost your immune system zinc again is really important for that magnesium b vitamins uh, vitamin c so your antioxidant levels are really important for that um, make sure that your probiotic your your gut flora is working properly if your gut flora isn't working properly your immune system will be struggling with that so it takes take a course of probiotics there are certain amino acids like lysine which can be really helpful but it, again it really depends on what virus you are which virus you have, because virus, viruses can notoriously be long-winded, they go on and on and on, and they are difficult to try to keep your immune system up so that they don't get in the back door. Um, okay, Janie Fulcher. Hi, I have been perfectly healthy up to now. I'm 64. Now, if I get a, now if I get a cold or a cough, it takes six to uh, seven weeks to clear. I am taking on board your supplement advice for a good immune system anything more I can do thanks um, okay so well the thing is that a thing is it does generally um, so if you're taking that long to clear it means that your immune system is down so again zinc again vitamin C everything that you know so it's true if you were looking at the immune boost boosting days then there's a lot of stuff on there about it um, something that's quite crucial at this time of year and also in in you know people who have got fully grown <laughs> uh, vitamin d3 you tend to make less of it as you get older if you live in britain or in a north northern hemisphere country northern you know northerly country which gets less sun then you will need to take vitamin d3 through the winter months and that will really should help your it should help your immune system through those months um uh, you should also remember that as we get older unfortunately our gut is less capable of breaking down food and absorbing the nutrients so sometimes supplementing is the way to go especially through winter months when you are when there's more you know lurgies around and when it's colder so you know but zinc again vitamin c again there are things like the herbs have a look at the herbs rosemary basil oregano um, garlic you know Try and you could try concoctions of those to see, you know, put the, the raw, you know, use as much of them as you can. They are wonderful at killing off microbes, they're natural like antibiotics. So, you know, try using them in your cooking, try using them raw in juices, in smoothies. I know that garlic is um, quite strong tasting, but you know, it really is wonderful. You could even go so far as to use a garlic suppository if you're feeling brave, it does work wonders. Also, you know, you can do things like your ginger tea with a manuka honey and garlic in it, and it's less offensive probably to, to a lot of people with rosemary. Those really do work if you use them on a regular basis. They can be quite therapeutic. So I hope that helps you. Okay, last one. Oh, Rosie says, uh, hello, that's her, that's her tag. No, she's not saying that to me. <laughs> Hello, supplement related. What would you say are the best daily supplements to take for general well-being for women? Thank you. 
Um, right, well, for women, I mean, it depends. So for women, I always think of B vitamins. You know, folate is really important, especially if you're trying to have a baby. But B6, out of the B, B vitamins are very important. They're very important to everybody. But B6 would be a really very woman-specific B vitamin, I would say. Um, again, D at this time, fish oils, again, because they help inflammation. Um, astragulus, the, uh, the herb astragulus is just, it's a Chinese medicine, but it is really wonderful for sorting out ladies. Um, black cohosh is another one if you're feeling very hormonal and you're older, I don't know how old you are, but if you're, you know, in your 40s, 50s, black cohosh is great, it's really good for menopausal things. Um, but I think on a day-to-day -day level, I think, yeah, B, B vitamin, it's, it's probably the same for men and women, but B vitamin, um, a good multivitamin, you can get good female multis actually out there and they, you know, they're a good thing to take every day. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of taking loads of supplements every day. I think you should be getting it from your food, but if there are thing, if there's a sort of capsule collection to take every day, in winter it's vitamin D, um, a female multivitamin and perhaps, uh, and a B vitamin and um, an uh, essential fatty acid, so a fish oil, a really good fish oil. Make sure it's well sourced. You don't want any heavy metal toxins in there. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I hope that helps and I will be back in November. Thank you.